Hi, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls and in this video tutorial we will be discussing about how to connect NinjaTrader 7 with Global Data Feed. So I am using uh, Nimble Data Pro Plus package over here. So I am just uh, logging to my Global Data Feed account. So I am just minimizing it and uh, the NinjaTrader 7 control center is open. So from the control center now the first uh, objective is to create a connection. So to create a connection uh, towards the data feed. So we need to go to tools. From the tools we can access the account settings, I mean account connections. So let me add a new connection uh, with the GDFL. So I'm just clicking on add button, clicking on next to create a new connection. So let me give a uh, connection name, it could be anything for your reference, uh, GDFL. Uh, uh, data, GDFL data. So the provider here, I'm just selecting as eSignal because eSignal is acting as an uh, um, a simulator in the backend. And uh, if you want to use GDFL data as a uh, default connection, you can choose connect on startup. It automatically connects while you are opening uh, Ninja Trader. In my case, I'm leaving it blank. Right. So I'm just clicking over next. So now the username settings is uh, by default uh, GDFL suggest the username is AAA capital A and the password is once again capital AAA. The tick server let me uh, use it as a default one 127.0.0.1. So this is what the preferred GDFL settings. And uh, so remove the default uh, e-signal IP host address and. Uh, replace it with 127.0.0.1 right. so it is doing it for all the host settings now click over next and then finish ok so now our GDFL uh, data connection setup is done so I am just closing this uh, dialog box now go to file first of all connect to the GDFL data, so I'm just establishing connection with Ninja Trader along with uh, GDFL. Right. So, if the connection got established at the bottom, you can see that connect connected iPhone E signal LED will be glowing green. Means the Ninja Trader has established connection with uh, Global Data Feed package. Now. Uh, we need to create a new symbol. So the creating a new symbol is uh, different from uh, uh, how you used to create a symbol in AMI Broker. If you are an AMI Broker user, it's just like that. You can go to symbol new and type the symbol and you can start using it. Whereas if you want to you know, create a new symbol in NinjaTrader, the um, instrument manager handles all those uh, symbols. So I'm just going to instrument manager to create a new symbol. So let's say we want to create an uh, um, January 2016 contract for Nifty Futures. So first to do this, I'm just going to create a new folder where I'm going to place all my uh, Indian NSE FNO scripts. So let me put uh, create a new folder name NSE Futures. NSE Futures. Okay, I'm pressing OK. So that my folder got created. Now I want to create a symbol and map it to this folder, right? So here on the right hand side, you can see a uh, new button, which is supposed to add a new instrument. I'm just clicking on the new. So let me give a name for the Nifty Future January contract. So let me put NF Jan 16. So this master instrument is just for my reference. I can. I can use any symbols of my preference and uh, let it uh, GDFL prefers the instrument type of stock whether it is an index or stock the instrument type should be supposed to be stock over here the tick size tick size um, 0 0.01 uh, is preferred however uh, if you want to map it according to the standard settings you can uh, click on the drop down and you can select whatever you want to say suppose uh, if it is 0 0.05 select 0 0.05 from the list so 0 0.05 0 0.05 where it is yeah 0 0.05 and uh, next thing is we need to select the session template so in my case I had already created the session template as NSE 
so whereas if you don't find uh, in your ninja trader you have to create a own uh, session template i'll tell you what a session template is and how to create a session template right so let me map the symbol first so and then uh, in the exchange section i'm just going to create the exchange say i'm just selecting the exchange as nse and uh, now we have to map the global data feed symbol with our master instrument n of jan 16 so i'm just going to the miscellaneous tab so you can uh, see two tabs uh, let me minimize this commission tab and uh, in the symbol map section i have to go to e signal from here i'm just going to type nifty 16 jan future so this is a standard uh, uh, global data feed uh, symbols so global data feed generally supports two kinds of data feed one is uh, contract based data feeds which is non continuous one so the nifty 16 jan futures uh, it's preferred uh, because we'll be going to use only contract based data feeds otherwise if you don't if you don't want to bother about a, a, a non continuous data feed you want a continuous data feed instead you can type uh, nifty hyphen i this will give you continuous contracts so that uh, when the expiry is over automatically next contract automatically gets stitched with your uh, with the same symbol so but uh, if you are a professional trader and uh, you, it is um, always prefer to use an uh, non continuous contracts like uh, nifty 16 jan uh, future so that you can use simultaneously in your ninja trader as well as semi broker as a professional trader i believe in using non continuous contracts i don't uh, use um, i don't use um, continuous contracts continuous contracts is mostly for an uh, uh, long term trader as well as an uh, positional trader who generally prefers to use uh, hourly charts especially they want they want to use look they want to see three to six month of backfill data whereas in the continuous contracts whereas a non continuous contract you, you know, max to max you can see up to some three to four months of uh, backfill data right so okay uh, so the symbol is mapped now nifty 16 jan future so this is uh, typically gdfl follows the same uh, nest symbol formats when comes to NSEF, you know. So the symbol mapping is done. I'm pressing OK. Now, uh, so now I want to move it to my folder. So Nifty Jan 16 is my symbol name. I'm just clicking on that. I'm just selecting the exchange as NSE, and there is a left arrow here, which will add my symbol to the folder list. So once I clicked on that uh, left arrow, you can see in of uh, Jan 16 came to the instrument list under NSEF futures folder now I'm pressing ok so that my symbol got added in the instrument manager so I also talked about session template over here so I'm just going to the session manager so whereas you have to create your own uh, session template for NSE the session template handle the start time and end time of your uh, exchange so let me go to the NSE here NSE, yeah. So uh, I just mapped the start time and end time of the NSE futures and options market. So if you don't have this NSE, you just click on new, and you have to create your own uh, session templates, right? So I'm just leaving uh, this to the uh, readers or the viewers. Just canceling it. So since we have a session manager already in place, now I'm just going to open a, a new chart. Uh, I'm just going to file new chart so I kept my under NSC futures folder N of uh, Jan 16 I'm double clicking on it so that it gets selected so by default it selects 30 minute charts so however if you want to select a uh, daily chart or a week, uh, weekly monthly chart you can uh, select using this Le let me use the default 30 minute chart uh, same candlestick chart and uh, the thing to be considered is the days to load so in some cases it may show five days so instead i prefer 45 days this this is the one which is going to give you the backfill when you are opening going to open the charts right i'm just pressing ok now so that um, i'll be going to get uh, nifty january 2016 contract 
right on the 30 minute time frame so you got it now if you want to move to an uh, 15 minute chart just click on the 15 minute chart or if you want to get back to 30 minute chart you just can get back to 30 minute chart it's quite easier so uh, now also we need to open uh, ME broker simultaneously simultaneously I'm just opening ME broker and uh, say since we need a nifty 16 jan futures so we have the symbol over here already added it over here here all right so now simultaneously you can monitor uh, both your uh, nifty january future contract and uh, in both ninja trader and ami broker but one thing to be considered is if you are going to use an uh, non continuous contract you have to use the same non continuous contracts in both ninja trader as well as in ami broker you cannot use a continuous contract in ninja trader and a non continuous contract uh, in ami broker or vice versa if you are going to use a uh, continuous contract in ninja trader the symbol is nifty i you have to use the same symbol in uh, ami broker as well because uh, at any given time you can use one type of contract simultaneously in both the trading softwares like ami broker and uh, um, uh, ninja trader so also if you are having a meta stock or some other uh, uh, trading analysis softwares like the multi charts it is always prefer to use one particular format type either continuous or non continuous contract hope this explains how to bring the connect the data feed uh, with ninja trader and uh, gdfl so thank you i'll see you and see you next time with an interesting uh, tutorial till then bye bye